I don't know if this is a prelude of Minnesota sports because I, I know there was a tweet out earlier this week with the picture of WandaVision. So I don't know if you're familiar with WandaVision from the Marvel series Avengers and Wanda is the most powerful Avenger in my opinion. I think she is though. I think everybody's figuring that out now. Um, I have not right. seen the multiverse yet so don't ruin that for me. Uh, that's my plans this weekend. Um, but when you look at Marvel and Wanda has gone through a lot of pain. She's lost her kids which if you see once you see some of the shows, you realize they're fake, but she loses her kids. She loses her husband, um, who is also a robot uh, that's created from a stone uh, that's one of the Infinity Stones. But anyway, she's gone through a lot of pain and then she loses him again when she finds him, figures out she's created this fake world that she didn't even realize she created, blah, blah, all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the tweet was who suffered more than her? And of course, everybody's putting out all these, you know, different people and blah, blah. And I say, you know what, Minnesota sports fans. And that got a lot of uh, responses, to say the least. Um, <laughs> Minnesota sports fans, for one, <laughs> they agree. They're like, yeah, we've been through it. Uh, you think about four Super Bowls for the Vikings and not winning one. Um, whereas in reverse, I grew up where my dad's team went to four and they won. They also then, I think, won two more later, the Steelers. Um, but, you know, in my dad's era, they went to two Super Bowls, one, two, right before he got there, 70, I think, two or three, four, um, went to two, Terry Bradshaw, John Stallworth, they won two. So the Steelers fans, they they get it. The Vikings fans have not been there yet. They haven't done that. And then you look at the Timberwolves, you know, the one series with Kevin Garnett and then another one with Jimmy Butler that people seem to forget. It's almost like they took a forgetful peel. And then you jump into the Twins. I think they won, and you're probably better at this than me. I think it was 91, right, with Kirby Puckett or something like that? 91 and 87, yep, the two okay. championships, yep. And so that's – and that's good. So let's let's not throw that away. That's good. So 91, 87, that's the last time, though. But 91, that's a long time to not even sniff it again, not even be there, you know, to keep having these early exits because they got to play the Yankees. Um, and then you go to the wild. And, of course, the Lynx. Now, the Lynx, they've won. We get it. Uh, but for some reason, people don't really claim that when they're talking about their long time suffering as a Minnesota sports fan. Um, same with Gopher football. It's been a long time. Like, you know, Big Ten championship. That was the 60s and 70s. Um, it's been a long time. Basketball. You know, they had their Big Ten championship ripped away uh, because of some scandals. Like, it's, it just keeps going and going and going. And then you look at the Wild. And they've had some success. They've been to the playoffs. But this year, specifically, the Timberwolves were knocked out. Uh, and they were the seven C, so nobody even gave them a chance at first um, until they won. And people start saying, whoa, they're making this interesting. Like the, the Timberwolves might do this. But then, of course, John Morant's team figures it out. And now you have the Wild who might lose on, on you know, home ice advantage. So not, it's not even a two versus seven seed. This is the top seed. So this is an upset. Is possibly going to lose tonight in game six. And if they were to lose, yes, I would say that's a little bit more disappointing than the Timberwolves. Um, the reason being is the Timberwolves were a seven seed. They had a play in game just to get to the seven seed. Uh, what they did in that play in game, what they did, did in that, in that series, making it, you know, we needed more protesters. Uh, every time they had a protest, they were undefeated. So we needed more pro nobody was willing to step up and, and glue themselves to the court for the team. Like nobody cared about the team down the stretch. It was early on. I'm gonna glue myself to some stuff. I'm gonna chain myself to a, to a, to a rim, but then Later on, eh, nah, my skincare products are a little bit too. I'm not gluing myself to your court for what? I, no, I, I would rather you lose than me show out, get arrested, spend the weekend in jail, and then you win because you found a way to, to play off of my energy. And so nobody stepped up for the Timberwolves at the end. But the wild, mm -mm. it's home ice. It was so much struggle down the stretch to get home ice advantage. They don't get it. Or sorry, they get it. And then now having a chance to win game five at home, could not do it. That was the reason why they wanted home ice was for that. If you ended up in 2-2, that's the reason why you want it. So you can get five and seven in your own house, and you have two chances out of three to close this out. Well, now the Blues stole one here, and now they have a chance to close it out in their house. Now, hopefully the Wild can come out like they did in the first game in St. Louis and pull this off. But I look at the big three with D'Lo, Anthony Edwards, and Cat. Cat and Anthony Edwards went at it. Every once in a while, D'Lo would show up. Well, you look at Erickson Eck, you look at uh, Kaprizov, and then you got Kevin Fiala. Well, Kevin Fiala has scored no goals in these playoffs. He's spent 14 minutes 
leads the team in penalty minutes. I think that's the key too. Like it's not all on him on some of these penalties. Some are just dumb stuff, but some is like the Blues are getting away with stuff and then Fiala's getting caught. And maybe it's one of those like we know he's going to do this, so keep an eye on him. You know, I know that comes up with a lot of players like Draymond Green. He gets technicals on stuff that other players just get like a warning or a look at. Draymond does something, hey, it's a tech. Um, that's where I think Fiala's is hitting this playoff series. Like he's just anything he does, if it seems like I mean, guys can be embellishing out the Yahoo, Yazoo, Wazoo, Wazoo. That's it. They can go. be embellishing out of the Wazoo. And it doesn't matter. They, they're they going to give it to Fiala. They don't even give a chance to go to the, the monitor and say, oh, yep, it's two-minute embellishment. Fiala, you're fine. No. And so when I look at that, that's the issue I think they're running into down the stretch is they need that third guy sometimes. Kaprizov can't be the only person scoring. He can't be the only person giving them energy. It's got to be a team effort. And that's my thought. I think Fiala is kind of, you know, he's that third guy, but he's got to give them more if they're going to win this game six. I don't know. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll see what Kevin Gorg here thinks in a second, but I, I think that the Wild have been a depth team for a lot of the season. They haven't shown the depth here in this playoff series. And honestly, if I look back at the Wolves series compared to this Wild series, the Wild haven't had a lot of close calls where they had a big lead and blew it or they lost at the very, very end. Whereas the Timberwolves, I'm looking back at game three, game five, game six, and I'm thinking they could have won all those games, right? So I actually, yeah. I feel like I have more regret, even though that was an underdog team, I would have more regret as a Minnesota sports fan about the way that series played out. Whereas if the Blues come out and win handily tonight, then you kind of have to just tip your hat because then the Blues have won four games by multiple goals and you almost have to say they were the better team. And I think there's still doubt as to who the better team was in that Grizzlies Timberwolves series. The Grizzlies obviously came out on top, but the Timberwolves outplayed them for large portions of that series. Yeah, and I can see that. Like, I, I still go back to the seventh seed, though. Like, the fact that they were seventh seed, yes, they blew some 20 point leads. Uh, yes, when the playoff starts, it does not matter anymore about where you're seated, it's who's going to show up and play. Um, you look at the Warriors. You know, they were in this three, two. It's I look at the Warriors Grizzlies as like the wild blues. Like anybody can win that series. Uh, the Grizzlies found a way without John Morant. We talked about that. They were a better team without John Morant all season. They were like 20 and two at one point when he was out, and they showed it again last night, uh, where they just blew the wild's door or the uh, Warriors' doors off. And uh, when you look at the wild and the in the blues. Uh, similar. They're two close teams. Like it came down to like, I think a game or two or something or a point or two for who's going to have home ice. So yes, it's a close one. Um, I still feel like though at home, you're blowing it. Like it's all about energy. It's all about, you know, like the fact that they were up uh, at one point and then yeah. still found a way to lose like the wild. Like if you can close out that second and go in there two one, I think it feels a little bit better going into the third, but they made it an even game in the second. And so that's that's why I still say, like, in everybody's mind, they were the better team coming in. They were bigger. Uh, you know, they were going to lay on the Blues. They were going to wear them out. They were going to make sure their lines aren't healthy all for, or aren't, you know, full of energy all 45 seconds towards the end. They were going to just, you know, wear on them. And they're not getting that, you know, at times. They're, they, it, they're, they show flashes, flashes of a brutal team and an aggressive team but not enough. And uh, that's why I got to throw it to the wild. If they lose, I think they left more on the table because I think like the, the Timberwolves winning against the Memphis Grizzlies, they would have got their doors blown off by the Warriors. Uh, whereas the wild, the next series, they can win again because whoever moves on blues or wild, they're going to have a chance to go to the uh, Stanley cup uh, uh, final, not with an S final. Um, and so that's, that's why I think they, if they lose this, they left more on the table because nobody, assumed even if the Timberwolves had won, they were going to win anything else after that. Whereas the Wild have a chance with Kaprizov, with this team. I think they left more on the table.